Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, I'm a level 4 human fighter, DACA, crossbow expert, sharpshooter. There you go. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am Elliot the Nom, a level 4 rock gnome cleric of the life domain. At the end of the last episode, I suffered a traumatic experience when I led a valued ally die, and well, when I recover, it's time to consider my future. I am uh, Dale Quist, playing Flargal Snarp, um, a level 5 sorcerer who sort of wishes he was a rogue. Um, I am a little bit at odds with the direction um, that some members of the group is heading, because um, I'm a little bit of a wild card wanting to, to explore um, when the more sensible and people of the group um, want to take it slow. Hello, I'm Dimi, aka Dimitriov. I'm the fighter. I get punched in the face a lot while these guys faff about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. So, uh, Elliot's already brought the stream, <laughs> the stream senses down. 30% we're all now very we're all we're all depressed again so I'm sad I tell you, uh, yeah, thank for, you really. for two minutes for two minutes this week I was allowed to not be depressed but <laughs> thank you for letting my safe haven here uh. Elliot, Elliot has some life choices to make <laughs> that's awesome Just okay so crumbled. um but what else happened at the end of last episode Jim do you remember um, oh yeah, the 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 scene that the that the characters didn't see was little Jimmy trying to steal a crossbow and getting caught. Yeah, little. I wonder who was responsible for little Jimmy. I don't remember. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really does seem that way, doesn't it? Like mm. no one's responsible for that little shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, he oh, is. Uh, he is a orphan uh, after all. He's and twelve year old. He can. He's old enough to vote, so it's all right. He voted for no printers. <laughs> okay, so, so gentlemen, as 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 we discussed last week, or uh, sorry, at the beginning of this week, at the end of last week, so you are in sub level two of said catacombs, mm -hmm. um, and have busted into some kind of uh, a temple. It would almost resemble, right? Not really. There doesn't seem to be like pews or, or a specific, there is, you know, a deus type thing. Not really sure if that's an altar because it's not in the same conditions as some of the other rooms have been, you know, no blood present, body parts present, things like that, right? Um, Daka um, uh, was was brilliant in, in positioning himself. Um, I don't sell your logged in yet. Dale, did you get in yet? I mean. point. <laughs> it's all right. Um, we're still doing the recap. Um, Dadel, or Dadel, Daka positioned himself kind of right here. And from his viewpoint before getting um, scorched, bitten, pushed around, <laughs> and all of that stuff. Um, nearly killed. Yeah, there is a, uh, there is like a, it's, it's almost, I would call it a temple at this point. I mean, we don't know what else to call it, right? Temple of Doom. During maybe. that fight, we, uh, we saw the fall of Faps, right? We saw Faps take a... Uh, uh, a vicious blow from a uh, from um, Mola Ram's uh, spiritual weapon that finally fell him. He had done a great job taking out, I believe. Didn't he take out? He took out at least one of the two dogs, right? Maybe a couple of the other. He, he did, kept yeah, canceling the um, the priest's uh, spiritual guardian spell. He was doing a very good job of kind of keeping things together, yeah. and uh, but he did finally succumb to his wounds. Is man Elon here? He's he's now at the end of our lap, uh, last episode. We saw him kind of, um, I don't want to say questioning life. He was questioning, you know, what's next? What do I do? His military training took over and he immediately looked toward um, toward mm -hmm. Dimitriov for guidance. Um, Elliot, as mentioned, went in the prone and or fetal position as, 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 as after losing FAPS. <clears throat> and... Um, you know, that, that's kind of where we bring ourselves to, gentlemen. I'm very curious to see where we're going to go from here. Um, we were able, or, or Demetria was able to talk some small bit of, of uh, uh, 
of movement out of Elliot, and Elliot moved over, placed his his newfound brooch upon um, upon Faps's chest, prayed over him, or or reached out to the chief engineer in whatever form that may have been, and we saw a small uh, ghostly cog appear over. Uh, over uh, Faps's body, and then after that, Faps is no more. So let's go ahead and take it from there, gentlemen. Right, well, we'd agreed, hadn't we? Uh, Dimitriov had convinced uh, Elon to uh, to take take Faps back to the manor and stuff, and go back to the manor and uh, regroup. Yeah, we need to uh, sort his body out, don't we? So we need to take him back to his manor, I think, mm. and then <clears throat> we need to sort Elliot's head out. The gnome. So, Elliot, what is what are we? What's tell us a little bit about his his mental state, or you know, how's he? I, I would assume he's somewhat. I don't want to say ignoring the rest of the party, but he's in a different place right now, right? Oh, more, more than ignoring. He's basically catatonic at this point. You know, there were already cracks running through. You know, his his kind of mind. You know, he has this kind of whole sort of you know un, un, unsureness of himself. You know, very much lack of confidence. He's, he's not a healer at all, really. He was kind of here by mistake, and he's been trying to muddle along. But you know, he, he's feared being, he's feared failing and letting people die. And it's it's happened twice now, and and you know, he's done. He's broken. He's he's on the floor. He's incommunicado. You know, if you want him out of here, you've got to carry him out. Dimitrov, give me a um, give me a per perception check with advantage, please. Uh, there we go. Oh no, that's persuasion. At least, uh... there we go. <clears throat> Whoa! Okay. Yep. So, mm. so you've seen this before, Dim, right, Dimitriov? You've seen this. This is on the battlefield. You've got a, you've got what a what is akin to somebody seeing, even though Elliot has seen death before, somebody seeing death for the first time of a loved one. Um, and I'm, while I wouldn't consider Faps to be a loved one, that's how Elliot is reacting, right? This would be similar to two brothers or a brother and a sister or sisters or whatever, whom one falls in battle next to the other one, and the other one, the living one, simply drops weapons, gets down on knees, picks up body, and just and is completely left where their their mental state is not where their physical body is right now. So you're very familiar with this. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm just gonna reach down to Elliot, and I'm gonna say, um, if you stay in this catatonic state, perhaps his death is in vain. Um, we need to do. We, we need to. We need to fix this. Like honestly, um, like by breaking down and shutting down your almost two deaths for the price of one like you you cannot let this sort of thing beat you you need to get up and we need to move on uh, okay so dimitriov give me a persuasion check a uh, regular and then elliot whatever his role is i'm going to kind of let you kind of guide that or utilize that in your in however you, if you choose sure sure so it's it's a logical and convincing argument but Elliot is. I am in no state to hear it. You know, I'm. I am dead to the world almost. You know, I'm. I'm just not capable of really receiving input right now. Well, we're gonna. We're gonna have to carry him back. So, I'll carry Elliot, Daka, and uh, Elon. You need to carry Faps. And uh, Badal, you need to cover us. Flog, Flogel, you need to cover us. We need to get these guys back to the mansion now. We need to get. Get. Elliot back up on his feet, and we need to get Faps laid to rest. Yep. Flargo Snarp, any reaction at all to any of this? Yeah, I feel uh, pity for Elliot. Whoa. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> did you say however, or did I not hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I just like it must be uh, it must be horrible to take on uh, so many so much so, so, such a big a burden um, of like caring for other people that you barely know or 
barely even like. So yeah, okay. it must be, it must be, it must be. I can't really relate. No, Daka can't Actually, relate. That's, which ex funny. that's expected, which, right? That's which is funny because like real me can definitely relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, having your your quote unquote character react differently than you would. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. Yeah. Um, Daka, anything from you before we? And then I'm assuming we're going to kind of pack up and move back to the mansion. No, I mean Daka's just watching it all. You know, I probably yeah can't can't wrap his head around what the hell's going going on with Eliod. Um, obviously understands uh, Elon caring about Faps being dead. So you know, just. Just get on with the job in it. That's it. Now, what about what about your your um, any any reaction to yourself from your performance last week? And I'm not saying this to be a dick, right? We were all laughing about it, but honestly, you threw you know, Daka moved into a situation where he almost friggin' died, right? He's not. Yeah, no, yeah, Daka. You know, funnily enough, despite being a policeman for years and years, a constable, whatever you want to call him, a member of the yeah, you'd be a constable. Yep. For years, um, he somehow never learned basic tactics or anything, and didn't realise dogs could move. And but he learned, he learned, uh, he learned last week or just a few moments ago in 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 character that that dogs can move, and uh, it's shocked him. It's shocked him that dogs can move, and and he's going to be a bit more cautious in future. <laughs> does does every dog the Daka knows just? catatonics and just stand still apparently yeah apparently he heard the bark was worse than the bike but that wasn't true <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right just, so um i'm, I'm just uh, staring longingly down this corridor <laughs> like kicking about um uh, looking through the cor sorting through the, the loot available but really, I just did want you, to come um, down here. If, if you choose to, do you want to pick your caltrops back up? There's, I mean, you scattered maybe 10 of them across the floor. Yeah, yeah, seconds. yeah. Okay. I, I picked them up, yeah. Um, and then really quickly, let us let me give you just a breakdown of that, because I'm assuming you're going to tell the others what you found. If uh, you kind of move your character back up here real quick. Yeah. So you have six what appear to be, I, I, don't, I hesitate to call them cells more than storage spaces. They all do have cages in them. Obviously, you know, uh, uh, not human size, but... Uh, you know, medium-sized cages, I guess would be the best way to put it, whether it's elves, humans, orcs, goblins. Um, and then there is that stairwell at the end of the hallway, right, that you did see that goes down. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, where that's where I've uh, wanted to, like, that's where I've sta stared longingly. Like, that's that's where I want to go. Um, well, we're coming back. We yeah, just yeah. need to sort out. We just need Elliot. We need Elliot. Yeah. And yeah, to course. be fair, like Faps, I, I, I empathize like. with Elliot. It's just like that. I can't really, I can't really see the the benefit of taking on such such heavy a burden. Um, so much feelings for someone that you don't even like, um, because it's obviously straining him. Like physically. well, and that's right. You know, you you come from a very vastly different culture, goblin <laughs> culture, right? Yeah. We're not to say that you don't have a heart, but it is a very. But it's it's, 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 it's much just different. You're, we're we're so used to seeing death that it becomes yeah, exactly. part of life, um, and like the chaos that uh, that is just around us all the time. Like th death is just the natural part of that. So, um, are you are you then? So the plan is just to grab the bodies, uh, body, grab the body, grab Elliot, and up and gone. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then Elliot, I'm assuming you've left the brooch on um, on Faps's body, correct? Um. Because you yes. pinned it on him at the end of last episode, but we didn't get it to we didn't we didn't know what you did after you um, said a few words over him, if you will, or you know, yeah, reached I, I, out over him. I stuck it there. I I mumbled a few words, then I collapsed again. Yeah. So it's still on his body. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. So it's a very. I mean, it's not. You know, you take your time getting up there. You're very safe getting up there. You don't have any encounters getting up there. You're you're actually becoming quite familiar with this cave system, right? <laughs> You've been in and out of it three or four times now. Um, you, don't laugh, Jim. That's not a dig. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just you're, you're starting to get very familiar. Um, We're all very used to cave systems. Well, this one specifically, right? <laughs> We've explored what a cave or two. 
in our town time. So we find ourselves back, uh, I'm assuming, at the manor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, anal sex, by the way. Thanks. Say again? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're back. We find ourselves back at the manor. Um, Elon is with you guys. I don't have him on the map, but he's with you. Um, we have four or five, I believe we said five. Did we say six? I think we said half a dozen man servants of one kind or another are Z there. Man servants. Do you want go would you prefer goblin servants? No. Uh, <laughs> so, I, um, I have, I have not much of a preference. <laughs> um, do do we now have like seeing as Fabs is dead there's no real leader over this mansion like there's no proprietor right so we could like take a little bit more liberty exploring here okay so that's, that's one of the things that we kind of have to have an interaction about right because I figured something along that so Let's let's play this out for a second. So you guys come out of the out of the house, right? You come out of the house. Um, you're you're it's it's a little bit of work getting you know uh, Faps's body up. Elliot's relatively much easier. Dimitriev could throw him over a shoulder to a point and kind of you know is I, I hesitate to say carry him like a baby, but I mean Elliot is you know he's only three he's under three feet tall or just at three feet. Um, but getting Faps is a little bit tougher, right? You've got a you've got a secure a rope around underneath his arms and somebody's supporting his weight under while the others are pulling up out of respect. You know, you're not just going to friggin' bounce him off the sides of this this thing going up. Um, and as you kind of bring him up this path, um, you know, Elon is very, very broken down, obviously, right? It, and the, the further you get away from the combat, the more he's breathing softer, the more his adrenaline rush is coming down, the more you can start to see it's it's starting to weigh on his soul. He's nowhere near Elliot's condition, but you can see now that he is it's starting to truly hit him what what truly happened here. And then you're also seeing the interaction of the of the of the staff of the manor, right? And they see, you know, uh who's carrying how are you carrying um Faps's body? What do you, give give me a small breakdown of what how you're doing this. Oh, God. I'm assuming Elon, if, if there's two of you, I'm assuming like Elon's carrying his shoulders, you know, and somebody's got his legs. Yeah, yeah, I'll carry his feet. Yeah, that seems. Yeah, so as you guys approach, obviously the staff sees this and, and a couple of them start to tear up slightly. They're not breaking down again, but, you know, you can see that this was somebody that they had either worked for or been alongside for a long time. Um, and the reaction is a very, very somber one, almost as if like, we knew this could happen eventually type thing, but we never looked forward to it. Um, that type of interaction. So you guys approach the manor. What, what kind of happens there? Give me a, give me a little breakdown of what's, what's going on now. I am catatonic. <laughs> yeah, Elliot is out of this, right? He's he's hearing, he's not seeing. I'm following behind, right? With uh, <clears throat> having having covered our rear. Um... Yeah, you're. Um, and in fact, that that that's a good point, right? So they would have left one of the staff members, one of the um, one of the men back at the top of that. They, I'm assuming you guys have, even though he's he's had a reaction to this, you're you're telling him to keep watching that tunnel just in case. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess that's it, right? We just walk up the path, and we've got fats, and then, uh, I don't know, I don't know, just just take him up to the to the manor, I guess, and be like, hello! Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. right? It's like, how do you how do you show up with their, with what is ostensibly the, the, the leader of the family, you know, south of Full Point? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I think we walk up to the sort of main servant, and, um... I uh, lay Elliot on the floor um, in a caring way as not to hurt him and I put my hand on his shoulder and I, I just I say I'm, I'm so sorry we did everything that we could to uh, protect him uh, have 
have your men prepare him for his last hurrah. Um, I'm so sorry. And he fought well. So um, Elon kind of approaches at this point, not you, Dimitra, but but the but the staff members, right? And he's like, you know, th this man here tells the truth. You know, our as much as we, as much as we will miss him, and as much as 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 he has meant to us, the way that he fought down in those tunnels, you know, for his family, for us, uh, was something to behold. And he goes into the story a little bit, right, about how you know these these cultists, these priests that have to be eradicated. It's maybe a 20, 25 second speech, but. Uh, how he, you know, took took the lead of, 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 uh, uh, you know, attacking when others retreated, or repositioned, or you know, I don't, I'm not trying to be, you know, <laughs> a dick again, Jim. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> as others moved out, he always moved forward, mm. right? And anybody who knows combat knows that ranged troops do need to make their distance, and anybody who knows combat knows that healers do need to make their distance, um, you know. So, um, you know, and at that point, he. He kind of looks, he looks over to you, Dimitri, of Elon does, and he goes, I would imagine he would have wanted to be buried at the last place that he fought, and that would be here, but with what's going on down below and with nobody in charge of this location, I don't know, I have, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know what the right thing to do at this point would be. Well, we don't, like, we can just lay him down in his room um we can go and clear the catacombs and then we can lay him to rest where he would want like i mean we've got to respect his dying wishes right so we just need to leave him here um do whatever they do the sort of dead guys and, and then we need to go and clear out this we need to get Eliod's head right and we need to go back down there and we need to finish off whatever's down that spiral staircase the fly will start mentioned. So at that point, Elon says he, he gives you a soft nod, like a you, you know what I I should have known this type thing, right? Like he, he you can see he's trying to impress you, Dimitriov. Not like kissing ass, just okay. I should have known that. I should have taken the lead on this. I shouldn't have even asked you what we should do. I should have known that, right? So he immediately turns to the to the uh, to the staff members and says, "Take his body." Um, clean him as best you can. Uh, put him in his um, put him in his mannerly uh, put him in his mannerly garb, and preserve his body the best you can for whence we return, and we'll make the decision at that point. But clean him and clean him well. Make sure he has his weapons at his side. Make sure he has his. And he, and he looks over to one of them and says, "Make sure his family shield is placed upon his breast," so on and so forth. And then they come over, three or four of them come over and gin, gently lift his body and carry it up into the manor. Mm. Right. So that's that kind of taken care of now. We've just got to sort out Eliob the Nom. What are we going to do, Dimitriov? I don't know. I've never seen anything like this catatonic state. Um... Does anyone have any knowledge of gnomes? Like, does anyone know, <laughs> like, how <laughs> how, does, how do you heal the mind? Like, it's obviously I don't know whether it's a rest thing or whether it's uh, like, is is there some sort of medicine or like, um, what we need to snap him out of it? But I don't know. Like, obviously, we don't want to cause any damage to him in the process. So it's not like we're not going to chuck a cold bucket of water over him, but you know what I mean? It's so. We could invent the ice bucket challenge in Dungeons and Dragons world. <laughs> is there any? Is there anything that like he has that we can? I don't know. Like, give him like because he he obviously gave the brooch to Faps like. Is there anything like Daedal, have you got any spells that could help with this sort of thing? Flaggle? Not really. Like uh this uh like Well you can talk to him telepathically it, it, or right? Yeah, or... I mean I can I can talk to him, but like my the spells are only they're intrusive, right? And uh 
Well, Elliot has given off a vibe uh, that he uh, that he doesn't appreciate uh, the invasiveness um, of of my spells. Um, yeah, I mean, if you go to impressions, uh, you, you could say, it. "Hello, this is Faps." <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, yeah, Elliot. I'm sure, that would, I'm sure that'd be great for his psyche, Jim. <laughs> Don't worry, Elliot. You did everything you could. No need to worry about me. I'm happy well, now. I'll, 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 I'm, I'm happy to try and talk to him, but then I want to like go about exploring this house. Uh, okay, so I, let's let's shift Elliot over really quick. quick. Let's shift over to Elliot. Elliot, what? So in your state, right? I've got. To, I'm. I'm making some assumptions. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong here. Obviously, um, you're internalized, but that doesn't mean you're totally shut down, right? You're shut down to the outside world. Mm, yeah, yeah. I, you know, What's I, going I, on in your mind at this point, if anything? It, it's just. It's just. Uh, you know. It, it, it's. It's a storm. You know. I'm. I'm. I'm stuck. I'm trapped in a vicious cycle of you know self blame and you know. And self, you know, self hatred, and you know, and and despair at our situation, despair at the death of Faps, and despair at you know, um, I've forgotten his name, the big bad guy, and, and you know, but, but Mo yeah, Mo Mo Ram, exactly, name. yeah, uh, but, <laughs> exactly, but, but yeah, yeah. M mostly it's sort of centered on myself and what I did, what I failed to do, and 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 I just can't, and I just can't break free. Um, I, I, I need some time. Right. I, I, I walk I walk over to Elliot anyway because I don't I obviously don't hear his thoughts. Yeah, you guys don't know this exactly, but it's it's interesting, yeah. especially for the role playing thing to kinda of hear where you know Elliot's yeah. going here, right? Yeah, so I, I walk over to Elliot and I uh, I try and tap him on the shoulder to get his attention and I say, Hey friend. Uh, I, I I do not I do not respond to the um, corporeal interaction. Do you, do you look at me or uh, do? You... No, I I lay. I'm no longer quite t curled up in a ball. Now I'm just kind of laid, you know, blank faced. Um, um uh, do you, can you hear me? Uh, I ask. There's no response. Mm. Um, I try to I try to uh, to prod his mind, uh, even though I know that it might not be helpful. But I try to. Um, try try to talk to you uh, through through like telepathic communication. Can you can you hear me? I, I physically and, and mentally flinch as you try to contact me. You get some sort of impression of you know this great turmoil I'm going through. But also, as you as your as your as your telepathic message comes in, it causes a, a bit of a chink in all this sort of this this maddening storm and the tiniest sort of. The tiniest, you know, spot of light appears, and and you get as you know from 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 this. I'm not talking, but you get the impression that I, I need to rest. I need to sleep. I you know, I just I just want to be by myself and you know have time to heal. Yeah. All right. I'm, I say that I I'm I'm sorry that you feel this way. I can't I can't can't really understand it because like um it's it's only a dead person like only a, you know, only a person died like he he was a fighter. And you're clearly a fighter. Uh, you've been you've been helping us a lot here, uh, and you're you're clearly a good friend. Um, and I I just want to say that I know that you've uh, you've done more uh, for the for the group than than <laughs> many of the rest of us have uh, for for getting us this far. So I'm not I'm not sure what what it is that you're looking for, but uh but yeah i think uh, i think it's for us like we need to um we need to make the most of the situation so i'm gonna i'm gonna have a look around the and uh, the uh the mansion is there anything that you're interested the, in that i could look for for you as you as you make this argument as you say your piece again there's no direct response or anything like that but you know in in this one sort of chink of light in this sort of bubbling storm uh, you get this kind of series of images as you're as you're talking about faps you know, i see faps you know his mangled body and as you're talking about you know how he's a warrior and so am i i 
you know, you get this, you know, overwhelming sense of blame, this overwhelming sense of self-blame, and then as you continue talking about the party, you know, you get this this sense of comradeship, and you know, you see you see y yourself, you see Daka, and you see Dimitriov, you see the, the the shining ring on his finger, and and and, and then and yeah, then that, that's it. Yeah, okay, so right. let's, so let's, let's this cover chaos, this real quick. Like, hold, hold on I one sec, Fatal. I can just like sense chaos as I walk away. So hold on, hold on one sec, Flargo. So this is a little bit different, right? And I'm going to let this happen. This is fine. I'm not stopping this. Typically, your experience. Now you're relatively young at this, right? New at this, I should say. You just you just unlock the ability to to mentally communicate with those around you, right? And the first person you chose to reach out to was Elliot when you found this newfound power. And usually your experiences have all been centered around words, verbal communication of one kind or another, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's not necessarily speaking to each other more than a message is placed into somebody's mind. And then you receive a return message in your mind, right? It's not a, a verbal, but now you're kind of getting into an area of where you can, for some reason, you can feel his emotions to a point. I don't want to say that like you're, you're empathetic with him, right? Like you can, oh, you can feel it and you want to tear up. It's not like that at all. The way he's describing it is usually how you can, you can sense not just the words and it's usually like a very blank, right? It's very much like a text message, right? Like you don't know what the person at the other end, whether they're smiling when they send it, whether they're sad when they send it. And those yeah. messages can be convoluted because of that. You can sense like the, the emotions that are coming across from Elliot as well. Yeah, because I see it as as flashes of light and uh, <clears throat> and and like darkness and like a, a rum a tumbling storm a chaos that is like forming certain images and yeah so not 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 images as much as like um, leading like yeah like different aspects of of light and color. Um, that, that I interpret as, uh, as yeah. Yeah, it's right. very interesting, right? Dimitriov, I've also sent, I sent you a message in, um... and I, and I obviously heard him, heard him thinking and mentioning like, uh, the group, like the names of the group. So, so I know, I, and I know what to relate to the different, like, lights. Right. So Jack Bull, would Daka and Dimitriov, would either of, have either of them seen anything like, what has happened with Elliot before in their lives? <laughs> oh, Dimitriov, yeah. definitely, oh, yeah. probably not you as much, Daka, because Dimitriov has seen this a lot, right? right? And by a lot, it's relative. I don't mean he sees it daily. Hmm. It's just in his, ex typically in his experience, an individual who goes through something like this is unsavable from a psyche standpoint in combat, and they're usually sent back or sent home, hmm. and rarely do they return to the battlefield. So I, yeah, it's been I guess, known to happen, but so I guess Dak know. would be like saying that, right? Like, you know, have you seen anything like this before to Dimitriov? Because I haven't. <laughs> well, uh, so there's only one thing that we can try, and um, from past experience, uh, I turn to the maid or whoever's around and say, "Bring me a cloth and some cold water," and. Uh, we're gonna splash him with a, a cold wet towel. Oh wow! Yeah. So, um, so yeah, doing things exactly. that are that are comforting in nature, around? right? Am I walking over to them now after I've interacted with Elliot? And that's up to you. Yeah, I am. Um, so, um, Dimitrov, they go inside. They re they they retrieve a, a small bucket of water, very very fresh, very cool. They bring it back to you with several small um, cloths, very clean cloths, white cloths. And, you know, they, they kind of know what's going on here. They're like, oh, he's going to, you know, that this kind of makes some sense. Let's let's do a refreshing act of some kind to see if we can help him with his, you know, his mental state. Can I, go ahead, can uh, I talk, go ahead, so, Flargo. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Um, I, I did try to, uh, to communicate it with him, to talk to him. And he didn't respond, so I tried to tap into his mind as I've done when we've been exploring. And he didn't shut me out, but there were there it was like I, I could sense like a chaos, a strong like a series of emotions and uh, messages that he sent me. And um 
I get the feeling that <clears throat> he needs time to be alone. Um, for well, a bit. So I'm not, how, not... I mean, like, how is everyone health wise and stuff? Because we, we may as, are we in time to have a long rest? Should we just have a long rest and then Elio needs rest? I don't know how many spell slots you guys have got. And I'm, I mean, little... now, now we're here, I feel like that's not a bad idea, right? Like, yes, either yeah. we either we chose to to pursue the, sure, the, uh, the evil back. wizard instantly or we came back here and we chose the latter so like now we're here we might as well yeah. rest and and uh, gather our things and make sure that the uh, the humans um get the funeral that they feel like they need i don't know why we're not just tossing faps to the to the animals to <laughs> to keep Jesus. keep them fed uh but Apparently, like I've seen, I've seen humans um, have more, uh, like regard, bigger, regard bigger, for the bigger, dead, bigger rituals uh, for their dead. Um, so, so yeah, I think we could also like make use of exploring the uh, the mansion to a greater extent. Is there anything uh, we need to explore, though? I mean, we haven't looked through all of the mansion. Like Fab's kept like a, a very tight grasp of like where we were allowed to go, didn't he? But I mean, there's nothing to explore. Like, we don't need to explore anything, do we? You know, we found we found the thing underneath. We've we had the diary and stuff. Like we don't need. I'd anything. like to sort through the library and and stuff. But, like if if we're here to rest and like let Elliot recover, um, might as well. Make the most of our time. Okay, so um, if you choose to do something like that, you definitely can. Elon would, I'm not going to say he's going to stop you, right? He's going to have regard for his master's home and his master's manner. He but is. he will also defer to Dimitriov. And what he would say is, if he sees Florigal Snarp say, you know, moving into the, to the library where you guys were meeting and all of that, where Florigal took his nap on that couch... And, um, and if Flargo starts to go to some of the shelves, he would look at Dimitriov and for like, do you approve of this? Do you not approve of this? Is this smart? Should I step in and stop this? And it'll be more of a, a, a look than verbal communication to you, Dimitriov. <laughs> wow. Mm. I mean, let's just get rested. Um, it's pretty rude, isn't it? Right, we don't need a turf yeah, up the house like, after he's dead. Just, I mean, we can satisfy your first. Well, now in. keep in mind, all Flargal has said this point. I'm assuming Flargal, you're just, you know, you're you're in the library. You're looking over the books. You're just looking. Yeah. You're not ransacking the house per se, or am I reading you wrong? No, I'm 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 looking through like what kind of books was has been kept here, like. Um, yeah, it's not like I'm I'm looting the place. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make because in, in past situations it's been like, what's on that? I want it, right? I'm gonna dive mm. into this. Yeah, yeah, gonna... yeah. I mean, if I do find like a magic tome that is especially appealing, I will I will definitely like look at it twice. <laughs> well, that, there's, that's fine. Like I said, I want to make sure that we don't. You we know, don't, like it's not the purpose. I wanna I wanna like mainly. I'm not. I'm not convinced that that was the only secret kept in this house. Um, yeah, that's a good point. That's what I was waiting for, right? So you've got this, you've got this, and, and we're kind of moving away slightly from Elliot because I want to make sure the rest of the party kind of gets, you know, some of their interactions as well. You've you've got this this painting, right, of, of Laura Tillich, right? She's holding what appears to be a mirror, which is something that you've identified to yourself in the party as something that you should be interested in yeah and is it is something that the the country wizard is interested mm. in um you found this quote unquote secret room though you don't know whose secret it is at this point right who's yeah exactly. is it the cultist yeah. secret is it was it the Tillich's secret that they built something and found this we're not really sure why yeah, did we build it, the manor on this location? Seem, it doesn't seem like it was Faps' secret, right? Uh, yeah, Faps had no clue that, that that was there, yeah. or at least that's how he let on, right? Yeah. Then you've and got um, 
I'm sorry, say again, Jim. And he's died, so that kind of rules him out being part of anything, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, unless he comes back from the dead like a Jim Jim zombie in, in Barotrauma. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you know, there's a, there's there's definitely a your your party's taking a, a transition here from we're investigating to now you are you are you are very much intervening at this point, right? I mean, someone has to, right? Like, there's, there's. Yeah, I mean, should we there. all? Should we all just? It's, it, this is a decent point, actually, uh, Flago. Um, we probably should. We should probably should see if there's any more. See if we try and get the bottom of all, all what's happened. Uh, so, Demetrio, should we go and have a word with Elon and tell him that we're like, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have a look around and everything, you know, see what we can see, see if we can find, discover the key to, you know. Everything I mean, I don't. Happening. I I don't see why we need to. To be honest, I think we need to go and avenge his death. And like, I mean, like, I mean, we, we can't do that straight away. I, 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 you're the I, ones that wanted to come back we, and rest. Yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. But we, we came we, back we need to get a rest We didn't come here to like rob him. Like, not robbing not him. Robbing we're just him. looking for clues and <laughs> yeah, you know, trying to get the like, bottom of the mystery. Right? There's a I big just mystery. Feel like, I feel like the timing is poor. The like, timing is poor, but there's no time like the present. Yeah, at the but end of the day. Like, let's just rest. Don't talk we'll about go. the timing is poor. There's no. Well, hold on, hold on. Let him finish. Let let. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, just let him rest. Let's get Elliot back, because at the moment we're making decisions with the three of us. I think we're stronger when we make decisions as a four. Um, I feel we need to rest. We need to go back into the catacombs. We need to deal with. I I have like an in a burning rage like i'm also upset that we let faps die so i want to avenge that i want to fix that as quickly as i can and uh <laughs> <Alfie>. and then, <laughs> i want to fix that and then obviously whatever happens after that we can put faps the rest in the, the catacombs where he died where that was apparently his last dying wish and then once that is all done and settled then i'm i have no problem with searching the mansion I just don't think right now is needed or like appreciated. There's, like. there's no time like the present, right? Like, why put off till tomorrow when we can? Because he's just died, and there, all these people, there are all these people, like they're, yeah, they're... but all these people like lived with him, like they know him, like he's a member of their family, and then like I'm, I'm not being funny, but if someone like in your family died and there was a load of strangers in your house going through his stuff like it's just not don't etiquette. Have family a house or stuff well that's that's <laughs> that is what it is but like honestly i feel like i have to put my foot down and just say just leave it for a couple of nights we get the rest we go back into the catacombs we finish off what we started we put faps to rest we, yeah we so when, need... I've, when i've slept and you and you're still sleeping, and Elliot's like still Wait, recuperating. When I'm asleep, here. Am, I just, I'm asleep. am I just sitting here? When I'm asleep, I'm rolling asleep. Rolling my thumbs. <clears throat> but yeah, then... but what am I doing? Do I do I just roll my thumbs? Like, well, why can't not... I walk yeah. around the library? I mean, I can't stop you when I'm asleep, but <clears throat> it's up to you, isn't it? Good point. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I, I disagree. No, I disagree with Dimitri. I, like I know, obviously, it's rude as hell, and that. But I think you know it is a big mystery. But at the end of the day, you know, Elon obviously listens to Dimitriov, and I'm fine to acquiesce to Dimitriov's orders, if you like, of uh, leaving it. And let's just look. Let's flaggle. You know, it, it's right. You know, it is. It is rude as hell. I know you're a little goblin, and you don't follow the same, the same kind of. Uh, you know societal etiquette as we do but uh you know like it is a bit it is a bit strong not, it's, 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 not a, and, it's not a, it's not just about me being a goblin it's also a, like the fact that i've i've lived on the road uh and outside and like in alleyways uh i'm, I'm basically like my my upbringing is an orphan kid a feral uh, goblin <laughs> well, yeah, he, he very much is no that's a good way to describe him yeah. right yeah. So, but, but you know, so, so there you go. But at the end of the day, like we, we Dim, Dimitriov, like I think it's more our needs to fight, get the bottom is more important. Is more important. But I, it's fair enough. I think it's fair enough. So let's just get some yeah. rest and let's hope that Elliot can uh, can get his shit together. <laughs> 
basically. Right. I jump okay, up so on the couch. What are you doing with what are you doing with Elliot? Let's kind of come back to him. Dimitri, what are you I'm I'm assuming you're kind of taking the lead here. Maybe I'm wrong. But what are you doing with Elliot? Physical manifestation of Elliot. What's happening with him specifically? Uh, we're just looking after him. Like, I mean, he's healed us like consistently. Yeah, but are, I mean, physically, like, are you taking him into a bedroom? Or are you? Where, what are you doing with Elliot himself? Oh yeah, I'm laying him into a bed. Carry him I'm over gonna... the threshold <laughs> with your rings on. I'm a... I'm, no, I'm gonna lay him in a bed. I'm gonna <laughs> like give him like a rub over with a wet cloth, and then uh, <laughs> give him a rub. And then I'm gonna leave him be, like you know, like he said that you need a rest, and that's that, isn't it? So. <laughs> but yeah, like watch over okay, him. Okay, so I'm Elliot, all... you're you're um, you're you find yourself in a very nicely appointed bedroom. It's not amazing, right? We're still in in recovery mode of this mansion, this this manor, as it were. We had already talked about that. There's a couple of pieces of furniture that still have like drop cloths over them to protect from dust, and you know, there's. But but the, the, you're in a very comfortable bed. There are sheets on this bed. Um, your good friend, as of late, Dimitriov, is is cleaning all the grime off of your face. You know, with a with a with a a, a very moist rag, a damp rag that's cool to the touch, right? And it's kind of you know the, the water's running down you a little bit on your you know he's very he's just he's just he, he looks as if he's you know he's caring for somebody on a battlefield, who who just needs his help like, as a good. Um, commanding officer would. Uh, so yeah, all, all, all the storm in my mind keeps raging. The little, the little chink of light, the little doorway, the little portal of light that Daedalus opened with his 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 psychic, you know, um, introspection, uh, widens. As you know, although I'm not consciously aware of what Dimitriov is doing, you know, somehow this care, this you know, comradeship, you know, permeates my mind, and and this sort of chink of light just slowly widens a little. So, Dimitrov, give me another perception roll there. Okay, so you can see that you're ha he, there, you're having an effect. He hasn't woken up. He hasn't. Elliot, are your eyes open? Or are they closed? Are you staring off into the, the distance? What's what do you what's your physical face look like? Uh, my eyes were open outside while I was being carried into the manor, but once I was laid into the bed, they, they closed. Okay, so, D Dim, you know that look, you know, when you're you're watching, you know, you see little Alfie asleep, right? But his eyes kind of, like, you can see, like, his eyeballs underneath his eyelids kind of moving back and forth. Um, everything is very still with Elliot until you start to, you know, kind of care for him a little bit. And then his eyes just start a little bit. It's not crazy, you know, but you can just see there's a, there's a reaction there. Maybe, Elliot, would you say that your breathing rests just a little bit more? Yeah, it slows a little, yeah. Yeah, so you can, you know, almost like his pulse is dropping a little bit. It's not major, as, as Elliot's described, but there is a reaction there. So I'm, mean, I'm exhausted as well, so... Like, I was going to kind of let the process run its course. Like, I've cared for him a bit. Like, I, I are we not taking, like, a long rest, guys? Are we yeah. not? You can definitely, you, yeah, regardless of what you do, yeah, you can, all you've got to do is tell me that, you know, you're, you're doing, a, a long rest is quote-unquote defined as an eight-hour rest where you're not doing any major activity. So yeah. an eight-hour rest could even include, you know, Flargo Snarp searching for eight hours. You don't have to be asleep per se. You just can only take one every twenty-four hours, approximately. Yeah. So I, 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 I don't know. What if everyone else is happy to? Um, I think we should just take a long rest. Uh, Jimmy needs his diet, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah I, 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 I instantly went to sleep on the couch in the in the uh, library after we had our argument. Yeah, and if. He needs a rest, he needs a rest, so I'm, I'm going to take a long rest in the armchair next to Elliot's bed. Oh, I'm okay, gonna Daka, go... what are you doing, sir? I'm going to find the second best bedroom <laughs> after Faps, as I guess. <laughs> and have a, you know, put my hand crossbow there, give it a bit of a clean and whatever, make sure that's top notch. And, uh, you know, maybe he's just 
have a bit of a soul search, for, you know, think of what an idiot I was. Soul oh, search? <laughs> would, would, wouldn't the second best bedroom also belong to a dead guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the third best bedroom. That's a good point, <laughs> good point, Elliot. The third best bedroom, not the one who'd been incinerated by Molaram, not the one who'd been fed to worms, the third best bedroom. <laughs> you, you want the sixth best bedroom of the wall. And then yeah, I think oh god, I'm never, I can't, I can't make mistakes like that in battle again. Just think, you know, so I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty cut up about what an idiot I was. I don't really care, you know, that much about facts. You know, it's a bit, bit sad, but you know, and day people die, right? But um, I was kind of you know, struggling to, you know, <laughs> be okay with how much of a fool I was, and then, uh, and then we'll have a nice, a nice good sleep. Yeah, so um, so let's that's I mean, so Doc has seen combat, right? Doc has arrested outlaws. Doc has investigated things. Doc has even seen a few skirmishes in the field, right? But Doc has never been in a situation where he clogged the major artery during a major combat, right? And it it's just a fact. And you are you would you would be tearing yourself apart a little bit, right? Because even though you quote unquote don't care for FAPS, even though you may not quote unquote care for Dimitriov and Elliot and, and Flargle Snarp, um, you still almost cost the party their lives, right? Because mm. if you had fallen there, what happens? Would they then, you know, Flargle Snarp, you know, is inside, right? And he's, you know, you know, you, you guys were all worried about him undoubtedly, like as far as holy hell, what's happening there? Is he already dead? Um, does Dimitriov then sacrifice himself? These are all things going on in your head, right? Would Dimitriov sacrifice himself to grab your body to try to pull you out of there? Who else would have fallen because of your action, right? Mm, pretty bad. <laughs> so, no, that's the truth. So, um, yeah, so everybody, if everybody wants to um, go ahead and, and, and take their long rest. Um, Elliot, you're the only one that I would ask this. Does this qualify as a long rest for you? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I was I was wondering that. I don't know exactly what the answer is, but I'm gonna let you make that determination. You know, because you're you, only you know your state of mind. Yeah, um... and state of body, right? So maybe it's a situation where your hit points recover, but your spell slots don't. Um... Maybe it's a situation where you don't get any hit point recovery. I don't, I... you know, I don't maybe, know. Maybe... What do you What do you think? Maybe the other way around. Maybe my hit points don't recover. My spell slots do. Um... Also, uh, for, for well, I think going out here. While I'm asleep, I dream. I I, I dream of, of whirring gears and, and pulsing courts. I dream of shining mechanical <laughs> birds with glittering blue wings soaring through the heavens. I dream of a vast, invisible net cast across the world, a writhing, living net, the great field that encompasses the world. When I wake, I remain troubled, but I do have some tempered measure of inner peace that I strive to inhabit. Okay, so are, are you sleeping, or are you... I, I'm sleeping, I dream, I dream. A so deep, you do, deep, so you, deep, so you, do you do find rest? You're, yes, yeah. But, a very, but not a, a very physical rest, rest, a mental rest. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Rest. So the, the spell points come back, the hit points don't, I think, probably is the way to go. Okay, so I've, I've re-slotted your spell slots for you. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, so um, we'll, um, I'm going to assume, so right now it's about 2 p.m. I would guess that you're probably going to meander for about an hour or two hours, you know, finding your bedrooms, taking care of Eliad, um, having small conversations with Elon, things like that, right? And then um, probably sleep or, or rest overnight, or, we, or should we just assume we're the next morning? Yeah. Yes. Uh, very early morning, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, 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 this doesn't mean that you're foregoing any actions during that time. I just want to know when we're when you when you are coming out of this long rest. We'll get up Flargle, the what, are you, what are you doing, Flargle, at this point? Me? Yeah, you're Flargle. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I'm just curious because you had a very specific idea of what you wanted to do, right? Yeah, can I can I take a roll to see like if I if my like restlessness wakes me up, like my eagerness to explore if it wakes me up like in the middle of the sleep or uh, in the in the middle of the night? 
Yeah, what, so what, what would wake you? Uh, basically, like, I, I, I'm I, not happy with uh, just sitting around, right? I, I want to explore. I wanted to go further into the catacombs. Like, I want to explore the house now that we're here. Um, like, there, there's... Uh, yeah, there's a restlessness. So basically... Okay. No, that makes sense. That's what I wanted. To, that's what I wanted to know is like what's causing this, right? Okay, so yeah. here we're going to do something a little bit different here. So give me an investigation check, right? If you succeed, instead of staying awake, okay, so no. you failed. So you're <laughs> able to sleep through it. Your investigation doesn't get the better of you. Yeah, it's not a it's not a, a truly wistful sleeping, right? You can fall asleep anywhere. You yeah, can yeah. Pull up in, a, in a corner as, anywhere. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like as soon as uh, we had the argument, I just uh, and it, 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 it said, Dimitri said that all right, no, we're taking a rest. I instantly just jumped up on the couch and went to sleep. Right. Okay. So, um, so you 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 were able to. I don't want to say. See, I don't want to make it sound like you 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 were successful and you felt it just didn't wake you up. Yeah. Right. You dreamt of the combat, you know, because it just happened. You had some small dreams, but you dreamt more about what is beyond those stairs. What is in that library? What is in, you know, your your your, your yeah, mind was really wandering in that direction. Yeah, it, it's it's sort of like, it, there's a lot of like dreams and like the chaos of, uh, of Elliot's as well. Uh, it's causing some sort of restlessness, but yeah, like the dreams don't wake me up. I still, I still get a full night's sleep. Okay, so um, Dimitriev, you you are awakened by a much softer breathing, Elliot. But he's are, are you now with us, Elliot? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Okay. I'm, I'm back. So here. Elliot is is moving. He looks over. Elliot looks over. He sees Dimitriev and he's like, "Okay, you know, thank God we're back in the manor." He's kind of taking it all back in. He knows exactly where he is instantly. Um, and he's trying to be as quiet as possible because you're still slightly asleep. Um, but as he kind of just moves around, right, you awaken. Your senses awaken from the battlefield, and you know, and you see your friend kind of moving around a little bit. Yeah, so I'm happy, and I thought, well, I'm waking up, right? So, um, I just say, Nom, how are you? Are you like, are you okay? My 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 mind um, is is somewhat knit together thanks, you know, to to you and you know and Flag or Snarp, you know, your your efforts have given me a a place of peace to inhabit amidst this this raging storm. But but I have an ambition to make, Dmitriov. I am no cleric. I am no healer. I am nothing more than an engineer. My presence here and my inclusion on this adventure was a mistake. Because of that, two people are dead. Those who you know we were here to save those who I was here to keep alive. And although this is our first adventure together, it will be my last with you. Wow. No way. Yeah, blown away. Um. Yeah, wow. Um. But, I mean, you did, like, a load of healing. I mean, I know you may just be an engineer, but you... you you also kept us all alive multiple times, so like when you make nine successes and one failure, like that that one failure, I know it seems like a lot, and I know it warped your mind and you hold yourself responsible. But you're not responsible. You're not solely responsible for their deaths. It is all of us together, um, and what you've actually done and achieved so far with us is kept us alive tenfold of what happened to Faps and Finch so just take your time think about it don't blame yourself I appreciate your words my friend but but my my actions have caused the death of not one but two people and any fool can tip potions down somebody's throat you deserve you deserve better than me you know, my, my, my love for you as my comrades, you know, you know, uh, d drives me to, to, to want for better for you, want for, for a, a stronger healer. 
I mean, you can, you can argue that <clears throat> all, the actions of all of us have caused this outcome. It's like, it's not just you, it's the part... Like, something has thrown us together. Like, there, there is... I believe there is more than just sheer coincidence that we've all been thrown together to deal with this task. And we haven't completed this task yet. So, if it is only for this journey, then so be it. But we have work to do. And it's not finished yet. On Bravo. that, I, on that, I agree. We do have work to do, and I am resolved to remain with you until we have finished that work. Let's find out. You know, let's get to the bottom of what's going on here. Let's avenge for what good that will do, Faps and, and Omar, uh, and, and then we will see what the future holds. Amen. So are you all are, are are we all gathering out front of the manor? Are we, what are we what what happens now that it's morning and this conversation's already occurred? How do how do we bring Daka and Flargo Snarp and Elon and maybe even some of the uh, staff back into this? Mm. Last night we said when the we'll meet up at this first sound of the cock. <laughs> wow. <laughs> out the front. And we we'll, I guess we'll get uh we'll get thingy there elon can come with us right and uh oh elon would be very resigned in fact when demetria when you and, and elliot are i'm assuming you guys are are, are done and coming out of the bedroom i finished go, come on jim so um as you guys come out elon is already out there in full uniform oh, battle axe at his side right and he's waiting for you diligent like he's he's like all right i'm ready let's let's get this shit done Let's do this. He doesn't even have to say anything. He's just looking at you like we're, you know, he's resolved. All right. I come out of my uh, my spacious bedroom, <laughs> the third best in the man manor. <laughs> Look down the hallway, see Elliot the Nom and Dimitriov and uh, Elon, and uh, I've got my crossbow in hand, and I'm right. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I nod to Daka as he approaches. <laughs> okay, Flargo, what are you? What, what's um? What, what's up your bag of tricks there? So, you slept away from the rest of the party, right? There would have been a, a staff member, you know, kind of walking in every now and then, checking on you, not for security purposes, but that's their job, right? Yeah. Somebody is all is always awake in the manor, and they're always checking things, making sure that whether it's the the masters of the house or whatever it may be, whatever their needs are fulfilled. But you would have had some time alone also. Now you didn't wake up in the middle of the night, but you know, what what are you thinking when you awaken? Uh I mean the restlessness is like still on me. So I look around the library, um quickly like remembering where I am and then uh remembering uh Demetrio's words, I, I choose to just lightly touch a couple of books that I I do do seem to find like intriguing, but like walk away from them outside of the library to see what, to well, see if the others have woken up. Can you give me some small insight into what it is? So something is 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 piquing your interest. What is it? What are you looking for? I, I really mean, any, any form of like, strange languages, like because like it it was a it, like Fabs is a human, right? Um, but like not every book in this library is written in in a human language so i'm like looking for for books that stick out uh books that have like a, a sense like where, where i can i can sense a magic um okay. like to see if, if does any of like these books like uh to yeah to that part of me like the dragon the dragon magic that flows through my veins like is that uh is that now um like can I can I send some of that uh, from coming from any of these books? Like some form of like um, I don't know I don't want to say evil, but like some books I've I've, uh, I have noticed like since since uh, starting to to interact with the uh, country wizard like some some of the magic books like give off a sense. Uh, okay. That is not give me, normal. give me, give me an Arcana check with advantage, because you know specifically what you're, as you, as your eyes glance, you, you approach this, uh, this large wall of books, right? And by large, I'm not talking, you know, it's 30 feet across, and but 
it's just it's a good section of books, right? Um, you can tell what are like map books versus what are journals versus what are books, right? All of them are, are bound in some points. Some have writing on the side of them. Some don't. Um, okay. You know, with the 19, so one book specifically kind of piques your interest. You remember some of the symbols um, down below in the in the catacombs that were in blood that Elliot scrawled. And you see one book that has a very similar symbol written on the bottom of the spine near the bottom. It's a red book. And it's etched into it in a whitish ink, we'll say, um, almost like it's been inset into it. But it again, you can't place whether or not it is one of the symbols, but it looks damn close. Yeah. So it's like again, like the the uh, the curiosity that is always that that is such an ingrained part of me. Like I can't I, I, I can't help myself. So I I look around to see if anyone's if anyone's near. Um, uh, and as, as my hand, like, um, touches this book, I, I can just, like, I can't help myself. So I pull it off the, the, the bookcase, uh, so give me, give me a stealth check, please. Okay, so it's relatively simple to get this book out, right? It's a, it's maybe a couple of shelves above you. It's just, it's just a high hand reach, nothing major. You're able to pull it down. Nobody that you know of currently is none the wiser. This book is now in your hands. Yeah, I, I just quickly open it uh, to see if there's anything else that I recognize. Because, like, as you said, I can place, like, the symbol of... Uh, it, I can instantly place the symbol, um, what it meant... Uh, so I'm looking, just just quickly scanning the book uh, to see if there's anything else that sticks out as I as I riff through the pages quickly because I I know I'm not I'm not supposed okay. to do this. No, no. So interestingly enough, right? Some of the passages in this, you you thumb through it the first five, six, ten, twelve pages, right? You're not just going to take a book and open it to the center, uh, but yeah. you know you you so you so you're you're. Your natural curiosity uh, tells you if there isn't anything I can tell in the first five, six, eight, ten pages, there's nothing I'm going to tell from it, you know, other than by chance of opening to a correct page. Interestingly enough, you find a passage, a very, very, I don't want to call it a passage, you find a couple, three words written in draconic. Ooh, which is no. very, you don't see that very often. That I'm excited about. I can sense my heart beating faster. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to send you a quick thing on the personal journal here. And then you can decide what you want to do. I'm sorry, in the DM comms. Yeah, I'll send it to you there. Okay, so Dimitri of an Elliot, what are you? Are you outside now? Are you... When you all, um, Dadel's not, or Flagel, Flargle Snarp is not with you immediately. He joins you very shortly after you go outside, almost like he heard something. So, Flargle, we're assuming this kind of happened, you know, 10, 15 minutes ago. Yeah, um, I, I also, like, before I, I leave the library, I just stuff the book uh, in my backpack and, uh, like, scrambled the books where I took it uh, to make it like look like I, there's no... Okay, give, give me a quick sleight of hand check for how well you can kind of hide the fact that there's now this book missing. And it's not a huge book, so this isn't a huge roll, right? It's a, it's a relatively thin book. You know, you do a great job. In fact, you find an area, you find another shelf that maybe has a book on top of the books and yeah. you kind of place one that's similar kind of in its place, right? So it doesn't look like there's a gap there any longer. Yeah. Now the five of you, I'm sorry, well, Elon included, the five of you kind of come uh, to a, a common area, we'll just call it like a livery or the kitchen area where people would eat, and there's a meal laid out for you by the staff of the manor. Um, fruits, some vegetables, um, maybe we have some dried meats laid out. It's not a, a you know, a well-appointed meal, but there's some good food there, and it actually smells very good. You know, you've been in this cave, you were you had all that blood around you. You had everything going. The smell of torches, 
Um, and it's it actually it's it's it looks very very comforting this this food it's like it's like it almost brings you back to the real world for a second and Dimitrov I forgot to mention it please give yourself um, uh, give yourself inspiration for that interaction with Elliot also Woo. 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 I don't know how to give myself. Oh, I right, just clicked, just it, clicked on it. Yeah, yeah you uh, just click it, and then the little die thing glows. Yeah, that will come in handy. <laughs> so, what's everybody doing at this point that you've seen this? I mean, um, Elon is immediately kind of—he's not gorging himself. Um, you can see um, Dimitri of it. You notice it, right? He's not taking in so much. He's just, he's sparsely eating like he's preparing himself. He doesn't want to have too full a stomach. You know what I mean? That type of a thing. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so just basically just taking on, getting ready to go. Like, I, I, I'm ready to go. Like like I say, I've got, uh, much like Elliot, uh, I've got like um, an inner demon or anguish about the way things panned out like we were so close to getting flaps out of there and um like my warrior spirit just wants to to get it done like i just want to avenge his death in almost uh a sense and i just want to and like honestly this cultists like <clears throat> they're not natural they're not like do you know what i mean i'm a i'm like a woodsman slash warrior so like i am like they just feel putrid and dirty and disgusting and their existence is angering me um and i'm just itching to go i'm just itching to go so i'm i'm i, I will eat what i need to eat and then i'm ready like i'm sharpening my tools i'm waiting for the other three yeah, so we, we assume just sandwich. just like you mentioned right um um uh the only one who really didn't prepare for the day was Elliot, right his, his, but his his mace is is quite unharmed. He's used it a couple of times. He's knocked a few knees, as, as even he's mentioned with it. Um, but like you, you sharpen your woodsman's axe. You sharpen your um, your remaining Hancock. Um, Daka has he's oiled the bow strings. He's made sure that his sights are aligned correctly. Maybe he finds a tree outside and takes ten paces from that to make sure everything is lined up. Um, Flargal Snarp is uh, is 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 taken a small whetstone and has resharpened his daggers. Even though they haven't seen much combat, he even he knows the importance of those daggers on the streets of wherever he's been. Yeah, I pick up an apple, stuff it in my pocket, and I make myself a cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's all there and available. Um, Elliot, what about you? Now that you've had this conversation with um, with Dimitri of it. And Dimitri, I'm assuming you don't tell the others about that conversation either, right? I mean, it, I don't see a need, like, a need to bring it up, really. It's uh, it's it's just between us as friends, I guess. It's I I just care about him, and um, <clears throat> I don't want him to leave. But you know, like he's it is what it is. Like it's it's not really anything to do with Dakar or Flav or Slap, is it? It's, uh... So, Elliot, what about you? What are you? What's your what's your mindset at this morning, quote unquote, meal? Yeah, I'm I'm feeling ready to go, but I'm a bit of a changed gnome, you know. I'm I'm still I'm capable of acting and talking now, but you know, my 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 mind is still in turmoil. You know, I'm I'm hiding in this sort of this island of you know safety, but you know, th things aren't going great, and you know, my 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 cheery countenance is like somewhat diminished. I'm much more, you know, serious, and you know. Um, well, quite sad gnome, really. And I see all the food on the table, and I go to sort of take out my gnomish rations from my pocket, of course. But I, I sort of shake my head and say, yeah, what, what the hell? And I put the rations back in my pocket, and, you know, I, I go and have a bit of ham. Hey. <laughs> well, no, so, no, this is important, right? So Elon, Elon notices this, right? Because uh, uh, aside from, this is the first time you've ever taken from from the... From the stores there, right, and then they know this, right? The, the the staff sees this. They've they've laid out meals for you all before. Even Faps noticed it, right? You've always pulled your rations from your pocket. You've always used your own water skin. Everybody just assumed that that's what gnomes do, right? 
there's something either either your food tastes better gnomishly or whatever. Um, and Elon kind of comes over to you and he puts a hand softly, like not gruffly, but like on your shoulder and looks down at you and, and says, thank you for for what you've done thus yeah. far. Yeah, I, I, I look at it, up at him and very, very briefly make eye contact before bringing my head down and looking looking at my food, I, I give a nod. Yeah, and he backs off at that point because again, it's it's just a, it's but it is a very sincere. You feel very, it's a very sincere thanks. Yeah, I I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I I I'm, well, I I appreciate what he he was doing, but I feel guilty. You know, and and he and Elon represents Faps in a way, right? You know, he's the closest sort of link to Faps, so I can't kind of bring myself to really, you know, interact with him too deeply. Well, not only that, it's like you feel that if there's anybody in this room who feels the same loss as you do, not necessarily in the same way, right? Because he knew Faps a lot longer than you. Oh, yeah. However, he recognizes that of all the party here, you're the one who's actually being... He sees Dimitriov as, is is concerned, right? But he sees that you're troubled. There's a, there's a small kinship there. Okay, I yeah I, I I don't completely appreciate this kinship from my perspective. Um, I, I should see that if I was in sound mind, but I I'm too self focused at the moment, and I and I don't really. Although I appreciate him coming over, I'm I'm too wrapped up in myself. And and, and like I say, although I was not a big fan of Faps, he was a bit of a knobhead. You know, I I, I blame myself. You know, I the, the 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 man himself is kind of neither here nor there. You know, my my you know my 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 incompetence he got somebody called and so i don't quite i don't quite see you know the link you know i don't quite see the connection for, for me and elon even though in a better state i probably would okay so what does the party do at this point then you're you're well fed um you're uh, is, well provisioned you, you asked everyone else but i'd just like to say Dak, what 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 country do oh, we no live that's in? fine i i assume daca was just what you've been doing which is kind of observing from a distance, right? Go ahead, if you've got something to add to this, without a doubt. What, what country do we live in, please? He wants to know what kind of kebabs they've got. No, what, what, like what country? What, what is the name of the country that we are in? So do you, do, do, do you, do you not have our, our map, Jim? I mean, I mean, you... I do, but I was just asking you because I thought you'd know and you could just tell me rather than having to look up a map. I'll look up a map. <laughs> showing us down there. It's the known world. <laughs> All right. Remember, you're in you're in Victor, or just around there, and then you're in the your your country, or more of a city state. Remember, we talked about this city is kind state. of like Greece. Okay. Yeah, this is it's more of a city state than a country. You've got several city states, kind of okay. cautiously. Some there are some who are aligned. There are some who hate each other because so and so's sister wronged so and so's brother at some massive part. You know the 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 traditional stuff like that. Right. Well, in that case. Daka sees all this lovely food laid out and helps himself to a full halva breakfast. <laughs> Loads of bacon, <laughs> eggs. Oh, it's a, it's glorious. It's the it's the best breakfast he's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> completely, completely greeds. Loads of it. Fantastic. Quite. Yeah, happy. and that's you know. There's nothing you know. You would have a different reaction to this, right? You don't you don't feel the sense of loss. Mm. You're like, dude, that looks like it's some good food, right? Yeah. Never know when you're going to get something as good as that again, right? We're on the... Yeah. No, that's very true. Especially taking time on the road. Dimitriov, you're, you'd be the, almost the same way, right? Like, it tastes so damn good, you could keep going, but you're smart. You're like, no, I'm going to eat what I know is a good enough portion of food, and then we're out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, determined. So I'm um, anxious to uh, wrong some... or oh, right some wrongs. Wrong some rights. Wrong some right there, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Store raids with us. Uh, raids a party of five there, Jim. Yep. Thank you very much. Store baby, glorious raid. <laughs> okay, so um, Flargo Snarp, is there anything? What about you? When you when you come to this meal, you made your sandwich. Is there anything else that's happening there, or is that it? No, I make sure that I'm uh, I'm full. Like not again. Like I'm I'm raised on the streets. I don't. Uh, like I'm used to experiencing hunger. Uh, I'm not used to like experiencing what it is to be completely overstuffed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I like the, I just take uh, what it, what I need to to like 
wake up and then yeah i, I stuff my pockets with an apple for for later because uh, like i know that i'll be hungry again <laughs> but i don't why, know why do i feel out of character why do i feel like that apple is going to come into play in combat somewhere <laughs> somewhere right <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is the plan then is to go back to the catacombs? What's what's the plan then? So, yeah. Dimitri, I'm going to kind of default to you on this because as Elon is looking towards you, now so is the staff to a point. Wow. You um, inherited the mansion, Dimitri. <laughs> no, I. it's not for me. It's not what I want. Um, so, yeah, let's get going. Guys, ready your things. I, I know you're well rested. You're well eaten um but it's it's elon it's time to uh to to make do to make good what what we started and uh, let's let's get this job finished so are you headed back to the same spot where you were in in the catacombs yeah. or is there any yeah. other places that you wanted to check out first within those catacombs that you can remember i think we've been uh, through it, haven't we i think we like worked worked our way through like... i'm pretty sure you have mm. yeah i mean we we obviously haven't seen beyond the i guess it's a temple uh so i mean i haven't even been inside the temple so the mm. temple is where i'm thinking we're yeah, going yeah to. we'll go right back to where we were Let's, okay, so um, we find ourselves back at the... I gotta hesitate to say scene of the crime, right? We have, we find ourselves back at the scene of the death, is what we'll say. Mm -hmm. um, who has the torch at this point? I think it's Elon. Elon. I think it's Elon's job. Okay, now, which is fine. I'm not, that doesn't bother me, right? Now, currently, you have um, the light of this crystal there. Are you operating off by that light right now? You're killing me, Dato. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I didn't think you could see that. Oh, I can see that. I can see everything. Oh, okay. Wait there. Uh, go back, Daka. <laughs> no, no, no. Right there. So Daka once again kind of steps forward, and he's in Dimitrov. Is there anything you you immediately are like, wait, what the heck's going on? Right. Daka's back in the neck here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. I mean, like, let's just move in, right? Let's move in. So, who's, who's, like, Elon's got the torch. I guess Eliod and Flagel, you've got the night vision. So, you, you guys go ahead, and I'll, I'll just stay next to Daka because he does 4 million damage per turn when he, when he hits stuff, right? Like we haven't okay, so even you step this. you step into ignore obviously where the bodies are. That's not where they you know they're 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 spread about where you where you left them dead. Yeah. Um. And then don't worry. Um. <laughs> don't worry. Uh. Loot goblin Daka. I will make sure that you get everything <laughs> <laughs> off of that, and uh, we'll get the gold, and we'll split that up amongst the party. There's nothing you're gonna have down here to buy anyway. Um. Nice. So looking at the uh, this is a well lit chamber here, right? So the, the, the torch light is behind you. Elon does not extinguish the torch, even though it's well lit, because he knows that he's, he's following orders. Um, but here you see before you, you know, you've got, you've got this dais in front of you. You've got these four stone pedestals. You've got these um, 12 statues off to your left, all remarkably identical, all with lit braziers. And they are still lit and burning from yesterday afternoon's activities. They have not gone down. There is blood on the floor. You've got the, the bodies of the dogs back in the other cavern. You've got bodies of priests. You've got bodies of acolytes spread around the location here. So is it, does it all look like untouched from yesterday? Not untouched. You, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go as far as to say that it's exact because you wouldn't have remembered exactly how it was. Mm. But it does. I mean, you know, nobody cleaned up. You know, yeah. why would they? But. You know, it's it's there. It's not a situation where you see something specific that is like out of place. Is kind of where I was going. Hmm. Do we just trample all over their corpses? Yeah, you you well, you have to. I mean, you know, stepping across like the, a body of the large dog, you 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 know, you would have to kind of go around it. You would have to, you know, you and Elliot kind of I'm make it a little bit differently. Daka and Demetria would step over the bodies. You know, be if you're three feet tall, your legs are only a foot and a half tall. Yeah, yeah, You've got no, the average no, human's, no, you know, I eight just, inches I just, tall. I just, I just, like, I, I'm uh, just sort of like, how how are the others reacting? Because I obviously have no problems just like climbing over the corpses. Uh, 
Like, it's dead people. Elliot, how are you reacting to this? No, I, I cross the corpses. I, I barely even notice that they're there. I, uh... I just... Is there any reaction to where Faps fell at all? No, I don't look at the spot. I pointedly don't look at the spot. Okay. I'm sorry, Dimitri, if I interrupted you. No, I was just gonna say, like, um, I, I, I'd like to ask Flagos not, um, what, what he saw ahead when he was on his... Yeah, so there are, like, four. six rooms, uh, three to each side of this corridor, and, uh, like, uh, I got held up here, but by two, uh, two cultists coming out of these rooms, like, it, it was almost as if they were, they were keeping guard inside these rooms, but like I couldn't see anything inside the cages that are in the rooms, and like there was not... nothing of interest in okay. there. What? So you didn't actually go inside the room, or? I, I I went inside one of them, but like I couldn't find anything of interest in there. I couldn't see why they were guarding it, uh, but I I had to like check all the rooms uh, to make sure that we weren't getting ambushed by like more cultists. Yeah. Sword. At the end of the corridor is a, is a, is a set of stairs that lead further down. I'm sorry, what do you say, Doc? Can I investigate the statue, see if there's anything I can discern? Yeah, definitely. So, so these statues are rather large, right? They're not huge. Um, you're, a, you're a large guy, right? You're six foot, six foot one, you know, right around 200. This statue would be about even, you know, if you took off the pedestal, the statue of the individual, whomever this may be, is around nine, nine and a half feet tall. Um, you it's not unheard of to have, you know, if you have a some type of a whether it's religious, whether it's historical, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever it may be to, to have, an, you know, an oversized statue to something, someone, some, you know, so you, you don't necessarily attribute it to, oh my God, these guys are friggin' huge. More than, it's just, a, and they're beautiful, right? Um, they're very well carved. Um, are they identical? They're, they're all identical. Um, so, when you look at the faces, though, the faces are quite gnarled. Right? They're a little bit, right? One eye may be slightly lower than the other type thing. The nose is broken. Um, the teeth are showing. Um, some bone shows through one of the cheeks, and you look at the next statue, and it's exactly the same. Wow. They're very, like I said, it, with the exception of that, I mean, these could decorate the palace of a of, of a king, right? From their from the means of which they were carved, the the the, the time that was taken, let's say. Hmm. Right, a lot of detail to the face, a lot of detail to the robes. A lot of so detail the, to the, the fingers holding is, up the uh, braziers. The craft is amazing, but the subject the, is exactly ugly. right. Like, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's 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 very poignant. Uh, but I, but more more so, it's like, wow, how did they do this twelve times? Yeah. How or why? Both. Probably both. Mm. Right? How do you create something so identical? If you were to take time. I don't want to make this sound like they were manufactured. If they were able to take time, I'm sure you could find subtle differences. I mean, they were definitely that's, made by that's, individuals. That's, let's be real. Like the stupid dum dum that is Daka would not wow. realize. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow, he's very observant, though. We got to we have to give him that. Yeah, I I think I know how they made them all the same. I think they probably just copy pasted them using the same program. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's only for somebody who uh oh, i'm sorry i forget i wasn't gonna say that <laughs> but they are but again like i said and, and the braziers are lit it's not a, it's a non-magical fire they do give off heat there are coals in them um they're full so either the coals burn dramatically slowly or these are being kept because again they were burning last night when you were here or yesterday day is there any, uh, well, I don't know. Is it like, is there any reason for the specific number of them? Like, is it like, I don't know. Other than what you can come up with, honestly, yourself, I would say no. 
the reason being you don't know what this cult is too. You don't know. I mean, you've, you've put some clues together, but you know, maybe Elliot with a with a uh, religion check might come up with something. Well, twelve is a very important mathematical number that has a very high number of common divisors. You know, the ancient Babylonians used base sixty. You know, twelve is you know one. You mean the that. ancient Babylonians? Ba ba what? <laughs> The ancient Babylonians. Babylonians. That's what I said, right? Babylonians. <laughs> no, I said Babylonians. <laughs> oh, Babylonians! Oh, oh! <laughs> it's, it's like an alien stream, and it's on <laughs> in real time. We get. <laughs> we, but yeah, maybe, maybe there is some greater religious significance. Let me. Uh, let me see if I can divine that. <laughs> see now elliot gives me something else to put into this right okay so wow okay so what would what would elliot know that he doesn't know this cult but he's put this okay so this is a temple and or a location to a specific very specific individual there are no it's it's very uniform this is not something that you would worship more than one individual in or dedicate to one individual. There is something very, very specific going on here. These cultists are doing something very, very specific in, in, in what it is that they are choosing to worship, bring about, become. Um, in your history, Eliud, disfigurement um non-perfection of an individual not necessarily their robes and how they're carved and 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 duplication is very ancient hmm. right these are not any of the known um we'll call them patrons of our universe right that you're aware of okay there's something very ancient going on here there's an ancient power at work Cthulhu Most of today's patrons, deities, gods, goddesses, whatever you want to call them, are built around the perfection of something, right? Whether it's worshipping beauty and vanity, whether it's healing, even death, right? The perfection in death. Death in, in this world is not signified by, a, by, a, by an ugly individual. This is very... Uh, God, how do I? I'm I'm, th I'm searching for a word that's that's that that describes. It's very primal. Is is I guess a good way to put it. The, the worm, <laughs> like worm, worm snakes. Snakes have something to do with life, right? Like eternal life, like the snake eating itself, you know. Like, and this is something very old. You know, I said it's very old. Is this something to do with like creation? You know, I don't know. The creation of the world, you know, something like that. Well, so that would, yes, so that would be depend on which which creational myths you all believe in, right? For the for the gnomes, all creation began with the creation of the gnome in in the um, in the <laughs> likeness of the 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 chief engineer, right? You you were you were crafted and, and created in order to work on the perfection of that creation from a mechanical standpoint. Um, somebody else's beliefs may be that, you know, the, the God, a God reached up into the sky, grabbed the stars and cast them across the earth. And then that's what life sprung from. Mm -hmm. This is very old. This is very primal. This may even predate the chief engineer. So these guys, they think the worm created the world, and now they want to stop it coming back and destroying the world. I don't know if you would sense that because in in the in the um, in the ceremonies that you saw, they were placating. They weren't trying to eradicate. Mm, yeah, they they did the want the fact to that come, they were though, consuming right? portions of the worm, and through your deductions, becoming these for lack of a better term blood abominations tells you that this is not a this is not a this is a placation this is not a prevention but weren't those just like garden variety earthworms i was expecting some kind of <laughs> big sorry, worm. sorry sorry <laughs> can i just can i just ask a question of course what does placation mean so placation means like to 
to make happy, to make content, to make to to fulfill their needs. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So not necessarily. Sometimes it could mean for yourself, but they're doing something that something needs to happen for it to either propagate, become stronger, maintain its life. Yeah, my my understanding of what we've seen so far is they are like breeding these things to make themselves more powerful that's what like my brief observation that's highly possible right they've been feeding them they've been consuming them yeah they're not afraid of them they've got a they've got a subset of creatures that are 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 at least consuming at least consuming portions of them to allow themselves to become something else do you know worms have existed for at least six hundred million years? Maybe, maybe the 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 wormness is you know the the primalness. You know, worm worm worms are primal. Yeah. I guess this is all like where the characters are talking like about this to each other, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And so now Dak is gonna come up, gonna use his brilliant intelligence aid, and says, At "The end of the day, it doesn't matter. We've just got to go and kill them all." Wait. Let's do it. Die hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can acquiesce to that course of action. Right. Do we want to burn uh... on by Dacca's speech? Or <laughs> advance. <laughs> shall we have? Uh, shall we have Flagel lead the way? Because um, the, yep. the steps are up here, aren't they? So, Flargo, um, I'm going to move you here to the edge of the steps. Yeah, you. So, these steps leading down, they go down about plus or minus 40 feet, you know, can with you, three can you move from your Elon, vision. please, so we can see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yep. Cheers. I keep forgetting that, right? I'm, I'm, I'm looking through um, Flargo's eyes whenever I move him. Vision's um, overrated, Dakar. <laughs> 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 so again, the, so these these um, um, steps go down about forty feet plus or minus. The stairs are very well carved. They're not like perfect by any means. They're just they're obviously stairs. They're not a natural stair. Um, in the in the the small rooms, the alcoves to your left and to your right are the cages that Florigal Start mentioned. Um, they're about the size two human sized figures, two medium sized figures could be inside each of these cages somewhat comfortably, meaning they're not on top of each other. Um, you know, or a larger individual, though not anything larger than, you know, maybe an ogre type thing. You know, something, you know, but it would then be sitting, you know, almost, you know, on its with its knees up to its chest and and width size of the cage would be about, you know, taking up the space. Right. There's various, as we mentioned last time, there's various you know, pieces of garbage in there, meaning like pieces of wood, broken weapons, a broken shield here or there, nothing of real use. There's no foodstuffs, anything like that, no shackles on the walls. This is just, if anything, this looks like where they may have been keeping people, you know, whom were going to be, you know, maybe sacrificed in the, in the processes above. On that bombshell, shall we have the break? I was going to do that as soon as you went down the stairs. Ah, uh, well, I was thinking Flago should go down first, right? Because he's got the night vision. <laughs> <laughs> and we've I got a torch, to right? Go we, down first. A torch coming down is a bit rubbish, right? <laughs> I love how Jim's just like, I was just thinking Flago would go down there by himself again. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy to. I'm okay, so let's go ahead. Then if we're going to separate slightly, let's go ahead and take our uh, break for the day, gents. Glorious. Right. Um, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic!